in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to do for you today on this Valentine's Day, you know, it's my job to give you a video every holiday to remind you of what type of women are out there. Modern women, black women in particular. I must always let my gentlemen know that there are still no good for nothing 304s out there and how easy a 304 is, okay? I want you to keep this in your mind. Because you let Cupid shoot you with that arrow and you think you're in love. You think all women are beautiful and stuff. You forget the things she done did to you. You forget about the lies and stuff because she give you some coochie. The same thing you've been having accessibility to for the last five or six years. And she'll twist your mind and make you think on Valentine's Day there's something more special about the coochie. As if it has glitter. It glitters and glows in the dark now or something. No. So let me go ahead and play some clips to remind you gentlemen. What it is you may be dating or what it is you may run into in the future. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Sometimes I two niggas ass at the same time. What? Yeah, eat two niggas at the same time. Yeah, how you ate two asses at the same time? I mean, they, they was friends, you know, they was, you know, they was homeboys. You know, they, was to, they were trying to play, you know, I was playing. How you pull that off? You want me to show you how to pull that off? Yeah, show us, show us. I can't let that continue on because of YouTube guidelines. But that lady just said she ate two booties at the same time. It was her home. I guess it's okay because it was her man's homeboy. So she was going to demonstrate how she ate the booty. And I looked, you know what I mean? I looked at it because I didn't want you to suffer through that. I didn't want you to see how freaky she can get because I know you got a valentine and I don't want her to get jealous. But she ate two men's butt at the same time. So I want to remind you, you know, she was pretty. She was not looking woman. But never forget, even on Valentine's Day, that these women can still be a 304 hoe. Don't ever forget that now. Don't ever forget that. So let me pull up some more for you. Oh, yeah. Somebody might get mad and say, I don't care. My girl eat me and my homeboy but all the time. Now listen to this woman. So how do you deal with your anxiety? Mm, that's like a little song. <laughs> the best way that this lady deals with her anxiety it's when she gives head to a man. That's what she's trying to tell. You. Helps. Yeah. It like comes me. But but it, but it gotta be a. But it gotta be a little a little though. No. Suck something. Suck something. Something. Some? Like more than one. How much does it take to get your anxiety down? Three. I didn't do that at some. I did it before. I felt actually. She doesn't suck three dinglings because her anxiety was just overwhelming. And me, I would find everything I could possibly do to make that woman anxious. I would stress her the hell out just so she can give me some of that stress relief that she's going through. I would volunteer my services for her. <laughs> pretty good out there. Three in the same hole? Not talking about your mouth hair. Oh, like one at a time, but it was like three, right? How do you hold three crazy. with two hands? Like this and this and that. And like, you just switch it and go like that. It's easy. She said it was easy. She could switch it up and everything. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, bitches. Yeah, man. Uh, shit. Mm-hmm. Today is the day that the gentleman goes rogue. And I'm just going to give y'all some good old reminders that you can't trust these 304s. I know somebody taking one out on a date right now. And she taking all your money. You talking about don't hug me, I just got back from the gym. Get your stinking ass over here. You know I love you, little must monster. I'm gonna swipe your armpits and put it on my top lip so I can smell it all day. Mmm, so disgusting. Mm. That lady wants to smell your armpits. That woman wants you to come over there when you get off the gym. When you get finished running and playing ball, be ball with the homies. Don't even wash your ass. Just come over here so she can... Put a finger underneath your armpit and rub it across her top lip so she can smell your must all day. What do you think Beth, about that? Can you dig it? I love what I do. Hold on. I got more stuff for you. You know how the gentleman who has gone rogue does it. More unbelievable things. Now, I'm going to show you something that made me sick. Now, imagine going to a strip club 
and the ladies are dancing on the strip pole coming down. You know how they get sweaty and musty and all stuff, and they butt hit the ground and pick up the, the dirt on the ground. When they hit it, they bounce the booties, okay? Now imagine a woman, a stripper, takes a butt plug, shove it up her rectum, pulls it out, and put it in the mouth of a paying customer. That is a simp. That is a sucker simp. That's a horrible simp. That's nasty as fuck, man. Mm, mm, mm. But that might be somebody on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Y'all silly. <laughs> Ball coochie is overrated. Ball coochie is overrated. I'm not going to lie. I've been landing stripping it for a few months now. All right. <laughs> I don't know what made me just decide one day to just do it. I was just kind of like, ah, she needs a little bit of character. Are you, you going to die? It? Maybe blue for his, his birthday because, you know, he like blue. Blue landing strip is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, there you got a black woman who's going to dye her coochie hair. Her pubic hair is blue because a man like. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you in love. Hope you in love with a woman who dyes her pubic hair is blue. You can fucking use me as a fuck doll the whole day and like literally fuck my throat until I can't breathe. You can fucking use me as a fuck doll the whole day and like literally fuck my throat until I can't breathe. Say less. Say less. Say less. <laughs> now I want you to remember that girl you kissing on probably says that to other people. You're like, damn, Mr. Hill, why are you ruining my fun? Why are you ruining my fun? I'm not ruining your fun. I just want to keep you in remembrance of what the hell going on. Have you ever did anal in a threesome? With me, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, so we're going to get nasty. Mm -hmm. So after you pull, it's weird talking to somebody about their wife like this. Like, no, you're not good, you bro. This, is, this man is talking about another man's wife while the man is sitting there, her husband, talking about having anal doing the threesome. Interesting. After you pulled your dick out your wife's ass, uh -huh. did the third suck it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she So did. she sucked your shit. That's literally. Yeah, yeah okay. literally. All right. Talking about that the other woman sucked the <laughs> the feces off her. Off, how can I say that? The husband had his wife feces on his pipe because he was doing it through the back door, a little back door action. He pulled it out, and the other girl in the threesome sucked off the feces from the man's wife. On Valentine's. I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? Nasty son of a bitch. All right, so we're not done. Got a little bit more for you. Just trying to have a good time with you. Threesomes. I had one threesome my whole life, and it just ruined me. Why? I brought the girl to the table. My day was in the room. I went to go get some water, came back. They was already fucking. So I just was like, you know, I'm just not going to do it. But I do want to do a threesome. Was he your boo? He was my nigga. He was my nigga for a cool minute. I got him tied seven seven times still to this day. So how did you react when you walked in and saw them? I did. I let him finish. I sat in the living room, finished drinking my water. What? <laughs> yes. It wasn't even like, neither. No. What? No, what? I let him finish. Okay, then what happened when they came out the room? She came out the room and I went and took a walk and they was chasing after me. And I just was like, I'm smooth. And then she went home crying. And then I just like started doing me. Wasn't did paying him no mind. You broke up with him? Nope, just started doing me. Where did you find a girl at? Jail. So she had a, had a, a threesome that went wrong. So the woman that she brought, that she met in jail, she brought that woman to her man to have a threesome. He said, I can't wait. So he went in and started going, doing his thing, right? And she just sat out in the living room, a family room, on the couch drinking water until they got finished. And then walked out. <laughs> boy, there's some dumb asses out here. Boy, I tell you, man, that, that, that's, that's crazy. I'm not done. You know I ain't done yet. I'm gonna show you something that's off the subject. I'm gonna play this first. I'm gonna do this first. Then I'll do that. Okay, here we go. Let's play this. One. This is hilarious. I wanna fuck you up your ass. <laughs> you can stick it up your own, asshole. <laughs> I would if I could. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Alright, now this is the last thing I'm gonna show you, right? Totally off the subject, right? You know that guy named Chris Kumo? He be on Fox News and stuff. All right, you might have seen this. I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. But anyway, anywho, um, 
there was this lady who had Tourette's or something like that on his show talking, and he was trying his, ba- his best not to laugh at her. You're going to see it. And it's, it's hilarious to me. I may play that twice so you can see it, but it is crazy. Let me play it. It may make you laugh, too. Here we go. That I've had parents reach out to me asking me, oh, my son's coming home with a girlfriend, and his girlfriend has Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> So watch it, watch his face, watch Chris Cuomo's face, man. And then I also get what? very evil people that would comment and say, like, go fuck yourself, Chris, lick your baby mean and blow up your ass, blow your own biscuit, fat ass. That have told <laughs> hey, me at, that my I parents deserve to die in a car accident <laughs> because I'm faking my condition, or people have told me that like I've had to have the police at my house. Because people gave out my location and said they were going to come torch my house. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Here's the thing. One more time. Clinically, people suck. And they're yeah. mean. Do things like that. I've had parents reach out to me asking me, oh, my son's coming home with a girlfriend and his girlfriend has Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> so. And then I also get what? very <laughs> evil people that would comment and say, like, Go fuck yourself, Chris. Lick your baby mean and blow up your ass. Put your own biscuit, fat ass. That have told me that my parents. Hey, he would try. He would try. <laughs> he couldn't do it, man. I mean, I ain't making fun of nobody. That can... I make fun of nobody of any type of disability at all. That was just that the situation was hilarious to me. He was trying his best, boy. He tried to keep keep. He just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? So anyway, like I say, Happy Valentine's Day. I hope I kept you. Focus now with this to let you know what type of mindset that you're going to find in some of these women. So be careful, gentlemen. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking you to do. It's just be careful. You take it easy now. You hear? You 